We are social creatures and we build ourselves and personalities from the environment around us. That might be the people who surround us from our closest friends to the people who are farther. And that might be the environment itself, such as the social media and where we are situated. And that might be the bigger society. And today I want to talk to you about how these things affect us and how we can use them and leverage them for our advantage so that we get the things we want done more efficiently and more successfully. Hello beautiful people and welcome to this week's video. I'm so glad to be back. It's been a while since my last upload but I was very busy with life. I had just gotten a new job and it was a very hard semester for me at university. So that's why I've been away but I'm back now and I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Give it a thumbs up if you do and leave a comment of your thoughts on what I say and let's get right into it. I'm a soccer player. And I'm sure other soccer players or sport players in general know the feeling of frustration when you perform very well in a specific match and in another you perform very badly. I also used to get frustrated because I used to be able to lose weight in a certain context and not in another. And it bothered me so much because I did not know the reason why. But after reading a book by James Clear called Atomic Habits, it dawned on me and I realized why part of the problem is how I see myself and how I see my identity in that social context. So I want to explain that to you. The French-born philosopher René Descartes said cogito ergo sum. In English that means I think therefore I am. And in other words, what I think and my thoughts shape up who I am more than what I do. Similarly, James Clear says identity shapes habits and not vice versa. We tend to believe that our habits, such as eating healthy or reading more books, is gonna affect our identity and change our personalities, such as becoming more healthy or becoming more educated. But in fact, what we believe ourselves to be, and that is our identity, it is the thing that affects our habits. So if we wanna lose weight, we have to believe that we are healthy. I have to believe in myself that I am a healthy person and I will start eating accordingly. And this does not come easily. James Clear says that we have to start with small steps or what he likes to call them small wins. So if I wanna start developing a habit of eating healthy, I'm gonna have to start believing it and becoming that healthy person by doing small steps to get there. So I'll start every day by walking 50 steps or 100 steps, or I'll start by just eating a cucumber between all the junk food that I eat. And this way, I started to believe I'm a healthy person, that I'm doing things that healthy people do. And in the social context, I'll start having confidence in myself. And I'll start believing that, oh, I'm the part of people who are healthy, not the part of people who eat junk food. And this way, my habits are going to start developing step by step and slowly to become what I want them to be. Going back to my previous examples, I realized that I played well in a match of soccer when I was with a weaker team because my identity in that social context was that I'm the better player within the bunch. So I had to perform, I believed in myself, whereas I would perform worse if I was in a team of good players and I wasn't very confident in myself. Same thing applies when I was trying to lose weight. I was in a group of people that were all fatter than me or that ne who needed to lose more weight. So I thought myself to be the sportier person and the person who's healthier. And this boosted me and gave me more confidence to feel like this and be able to lose the weight I wanted to lose and be more healthy in my lifestyle in general. Same thing applies to my father. When we moved to Canada and we were trying to learn French, because of his background and his age, he wasn't the best fit to learn French. So we all kind of got a step ahead in the family and especially in school, we would learn French. So he would find it hard and for him he was the weakest in the family so he was the least to practice, the least to be wanting to talk in French because he was the weakest. Whereas let's say someone who was the strongest and who was carrying the family whenever we wanted to, to speak French somewhere was my mother and she would practice more and look up more and search more because in her head she was the person who speaks French. So her identity affected her habits and that's what I am talking about. So I decided to go with that mentality and set myself a challenge. I said that every month of this year, 2021, I want to read a book. So I went on Instagram and asked my friends what books they think I should read. And I got a lot of recommendations of amazing books that got amazing reviews. And I started writing them down for every month. And this way I made it easy for myself to not need to think about what I want to read in the next month. So that was the first step. The second step is that I took the first book 
and I looked at the number of pages, divided it by 30, and this way I knew how many pages I needed to read every day. And this also omitted the part of thinking that I needed to do every day to know how much I need to finish the book. And this way, I had 10 to 15 pages to read a day, depending on how long the book is. I am not a reader, and I find it very hard and time-consuming to read, but setting this goal of 10 pages a day was not uh, that challenging, even though it took some time of the day, I had set it even through my exam period and all of that. I started to realize that with time, it gets easier. And believing that I am this person who reads, developed my habit of reading much easier. I started to believe that I am a reader. Yes, Jad is a reader. And this way I started developing the habit of reading. And now I look forward to the reading part of the day. And uh, 10 pages go past very easily. And I read more than that. I sometimes read double and triple, depending on how much I'm enjoying the book. And what I urge you to do now, if you want to develop a habit or get to a goal, is to change your perspective of yourself, to change your identity and how you see yourself in the social context. I want you to believe that you are a healthy person if you're looking to be a healthy person. I want you to believe that you are a reader if you want to read. I want you to believe that you are a person who exercises so that you start exercising. And that comes with small wins, as James Clear says. Start by exercising for five minutes a day, just doing 10 push-ups, and day by day, this way you're gonna start believing in yourself and you're gonna start, oh really, yeah, I am that person. And this way the habit develops more easily and you reach your goals faster and more efficiently. Thank you for watching this week's video. I hope you learned something new. And let me know if you want me to talk more about the books that I read. I mostly read self-help and I'm also into finance. If you like this video, please press the like button and I'll see you next week.